Brian here. So today I'm going to change the spark plugs on my 2007 Ford Escape Hybrid. It has 115,000 miles. I should have changed these 15,000 miles ago, but it's no big deal. So anyway, I have removed the cover that goes on top of the engine. It just pulls off and I took advantage of having it out to go ahead and pressure wash it and get the grime off. So um, what I got to do is pull these because these are the ignition coils. So I'm going to pull them off and I'm going to use a impact driver to do it because it's easier. Um, keep track of the bolts. So I'm going to use a little magnetic uh, cup to do that. This is a 5 sixteenths deep well socket. Oh, and they're actually screws. It's even better. So I'm going to go ahead and pop these off. drop down in there has a lot of oil in there so I've got a leak not good but that's why we do maintenance ah shit just a rubber boot that snaps on no big deal let me get a spark plug wrench Not bad for 115,000 miles. Really not bad. So let me get rid of this, gap that, and I'll put the new one. This works is uh, this is a wire gauge, and these so that's 0.054, and these go in from the side. And you want to just feel a little bit of resistance there. That's how you know it's right. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and put this back in and we'll start it by hand. It's really easy to cross thread, so it's really important to do this by hand. And cross threading aluminum heads is a giant mess. So I'm just snugging it because it needs to be torqued to 132 inch pounds, which is approximately 11 pounds. I'm gonna cheat here. They like using extensions on torque wrenches, but I don't have an option in this case. All right, so there we go. They're all in. So I went ahead and decided to get the valve cover gasket and do this while I'm in here. So these unscrew. I just moved the wiring loom back, disconnected sensors, got things out of my way. Uh, and if yours has been in here for a long time, it's going to be hard to get off. So just take something like this and stick in here and just gently pry and it'll, it'll pop it loose. The only 
only thing I got left is this. I can't quite tell. go google it all right everything looks pretty good in here the uh, old valve cover um, the gaskets were just uh, they'd lost their flexibility because they'd been hot for so long so got a new one in there it took about five minutes to change out nothing magical there uh, I'm gonna put it back together oh actually you know what TV, I put it down here, but I don't have any, and the auto parts place that I didn't need it. So I'm just gonna carefully work this thing back in and see what happens. If it turns out that I need RTV, it's not that big of a deal to get this thing loose and um, put some on. Now at this point, I'm gonna start these by hand. Now I'm going to run them in with the drill. Now there's one connector down here in the center and you've got to put the socket on first and then you can attach the extensions to reach it. using a screwdriver to turn this because I, I want to make sure I don't cross thread it. It's really easy to do a lot of damage by cross threading. All right.
torque this by hand, but this is one of these situations where I don't have an inch pound torque wrench and these are 90 inch pounds, which is about nine um, pounds. So I'm gonna do it by hand. I'm just gonna snug them. Generally speaking, you can put about nine foot pounds with your wrist. So you'll notice I'm holding it here. I'm not holding it way out here where I've got a lot of leverage. And I'm just twisting my wrist. And I am using a cross pattern from the center out to try and even, I mean, it is a piece of plastic, so it is somewhat flexible. Now I'm gonna come back. I'm saving the one in the center front for last because it's a pain in the ass. And all we're doing here is compressing a rubber fitting, so it's not shouldn't be that difficult. got the one in the center which requires putting the socket in first okay so we should be done at this point hopefully we won't have any leaks Now we'll start reconnecting some of our wiring harness. That goes there. We've got one in the center. Put that in. Fit that little boot over it. So this, you just simply push here and that unlocks it, and that clip is on the bottom, so you've just gotta kinda know that's there. All right. This goes here. That goes there. Let's get this to stop pulling. there. So that goes 
here. I am going to go ahead and replace my coils because I am at 100,000 miles and um, it's 30 bucks through Amazon so but that's a really easy thing to do just undo these bolts So that snaps in there. So at this point, I think we're back together and it should be runnable. So these just snug down on here, and this is what the plastic cover attaches to. And you just snug these with a wrench. You can also use a spark plug socket for this, it's the same size. All right, so at this point, I'm gonna double check. There's no loose wires. And now it's time to start it and see how it runs. I'm going to go ahead and start it. I am expecting some smoke, so stay tuned.
As expected, uh, it did smoke a little bit because the oil drained down into the spark plug uh, holes. got a little oil back there that, that dripped off the spark plug boots no big deal really no big deal that little bit of smoke so uh thanks for watching um you know there are other videos there are people who are better at this i'm just a guy in a garage uh working on my escape hybrid keeping it in good shape thanks